Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to visualize a correlation matrix using Digistat plot package in our software. And for sake of this tutorial, we will use data underscore GE2 for practice, and this is found in Metan package so that you can load Metan package only for uh, to get the data. Then the GD start plot is help us to visualize the correlation matrix and it works on under the GG format function. Then the GG format function is followed by data and other detailed information. Uh, but if you have uh, if you are interested to see the, what the data look like, you can write the view and then the data uh, data underscore GE2. Then this is the data. So there are different environments and Again, also here is different response uh, variable. So let's go for that. Then uh, the function that helps us to visualize the correlation matrix is the digital format, and it's based on the start plot package. Then data uh, name is data underscore g2, and you can change for you or your data name. And the type is uh, parametric. There are four options for the types. That means the statistical output, the parametric, non parametric, the robust, and the bias. Then the significance level you can specify just like this. The confidence interval also exists, and you can change the level uh, of both significance and confidence on, on the basis of your interest. And here the p adjustment meter that means there is a p value adjustment meter like Holm, like Hochberg, BH, even you can use NEN and Holm. The default one is Holm. Then uh, PCH is help us to make a cross mark uh, for insignificant relationships then the color uh, red for uh, positive uh, white for zero and blue for negative association and the title you can give any title that you want uh, the top of the plot and i write it correlation uh, for 80 80 stands for agronomy trait and you can uh, define your title easily then uh, subtitle, for example, um, the agronomic trait is composed from it measured in terms of language, measured in terms of weight, some are unitless like harvest index. So you can specify in this way, for example, language like uh, plant age, spike language, uh, such parameters are measured in centimeter and the weight like uh, yield, uh, that means grain yield, straw yield, or any any biomass rated or that may that uh, weighted uh, you can specify either in gram or in kilogram then the matrix type is uh, upper or lower i prefer the lower one and you can change also the into upper one so type this and submit to our studio and you'll get this plot yes let's zoom it yeah so these are our agronomic uh, trade and the ones that uh, with cross mark is not significant. Yes. Uh, so again, uh, I think, yeah, the blue one is uh, positive and the red one is uh, negative because correlation stands from negative one to positive one. So the red is negative and the white is yellow. Uh, I mean, the white is no association and the blue is the positive one and again here is the correlation for agronomic trait that i made here uh, remove this yeah and the correlation for agronomic uh, trait or for AT, it will display here and the subtitle for example language unit is centimeter and white units are uh, kilogram so it will be specified in, the, uh, in this way and also it displays the number of uh, sample and uh, Correlation method is person, and there are three uh, different types of correlation. You can, even you can specify the method is equal to person, method is equal to uh, uh, Kendall, method is equal to uh, Spearman, but don't forget to put under uh, quotation. Yeah, just like this. Then this is for a single uh, correlation matrix. For example, uh, if you are um, if you are interested. For a group, for example, you can conduct different experiment in different area or in different environment in different locations, so that you want to 
uh, correlate those agronomic traits, depend on location and depend on the environment or other grouping factors. And the reason why I'm not using the tender score G2 is because uh, the environment is full. Oh, if it's full, let's change. Yeah, it's good. So let's uh, change here is our data name is what? Data underscore, um, data underscore G2. Then the grouping uh, variable because the environment, because we have four different environments. Sorry, so um, data underscore G2. Then um, this one. The reason why I'm not using this before is I thought the environment like 14 or 10, that's, a, that's why. And the type, uh, I've, as I mentioned before, you can use the parametric, the non parametric, the robust, the white, uh, all things are the same. So if it's for environment, um, uh, you can specify either it's one column, two column, or three column to half. So I specify here is two. And here is an assertion is, uh, for example, for for environment, you can designate A, B, C, and D. So if you start by A, the remaining will continue B, C, D. If you start by one, it will continue to three and four for the four environment. Then the matrix, uh, if you prefer upper, upper, if you prefer lower, you can specify in this thing. And this also the package and the, uh, as well as the palette that you want. So you can get these things, for example, if you don't know the knowledge of the package and the and palettes, directly use these things and it will give you a list of options for package and palette to select, even their uh, type. So let's back to, uh, again, the color is red for negative, white for zero, blue for what? For positive one. So with this one. Yeah. Oh, really? Is this? Not good because we have uh, uh, several agronomic traits, so it's bulky. But uh, let's use the original one. Yeah. Okay. Here is iris, and the grouping factor is a species. There are three different species. Let's see what the data iris look like. You can get uh, iris uh, data. Uh, from R, yeah. So the grouping factor is the species, which is uh, three different species. The first one is Tosa, then uh, Verticular, and the last one is uh, Virginica. So all things are the same, and here is the, uh, the grouping factor is species. Then let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, uh, for uh, it made a correlation or association between sepal petal, uh, petal language, sepal weeds, and petal weeds among each other for stosa, for vascular, for virginic. So by this way, also you can uh, make or you can create. A correlation matrix for grouping uh, variables. So I'll put this code in the description box so as you will practice and you'll get the same to get the same visualization of correlation matrix. So uh, see you soon and don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to provide your valuable suggestion and comment to my channel. Ciao!